Does this look familiar to you? Sometimes it can feel like no matter what you do, the enemy just seems to pop your head as soon as you see them. You've probably come up with a bunch of excuses like, this game's trash, they're just lucky, younger, my cat meowed as soon as I peeked. Time to stop making excuses. Learn from your mistakes and fix the issue at its core, you. A good way to improve while simultaneously fixing that mental stability is to say, what could I have done better in this situation? I'll throw you a bone though. Sometimes reaction time, ping, or luck is just diff. That aside, let's jump into the actual reasons you can't stop getting one tapped and go over exactly how to reduce how often it happens. I'm chill and let's get into it. One of the main reasons players get one tapped so easily is due to how you're peeking an enemy. Here's a quick look at two different peeks from a game I recently played with some friends. Sorry Froyo, I'm going to make an example out of you real quick. Here's a look at her peak around the B-long angle on Pearl. Now I know the round is basically over here, but I wanted to use this example because if she peeks like this at the beginning of the round, it'll be the easiest kill the enemy has ever had. Now here's a look at how you should properly peek this angle, assuming you have no utility. See the difference? There are a couple things wrong with Froyo's peak here, and I'll get to that a little later in the video, but the main thing I want to focus on is how she approaches this corner. For a newer player, it's understandable that you don't want to make noise, so you hold shift, approach the corner, and just as you peek, blam, one tapped by the defender playing behind pillar. Now which one would you say is easier for the enemy to hit a headshot? The speed in which you peek angles matters a lot when it comes to keeping your head on your shoulders. In basically every shooter, you want to hit the enemy while being hard to hit, right? There is a time and place for slow peeking corners, and that time is generally when you're lurking or you're unexpectedly behind enemy lines. If you're worried about making noise when fast peeking, don't. There is a period of time when your agent moves from a standstill to full run speed. During that time, you will not make noise at all. With this in mind, you can combine shift walking with fast peaks. To practice this, head into the range and get a feel for how far you can move left and right before you hear your own footsteps. This will give you an idea of the distance you can peek without the enemy hearing you. Over time, this will become second nature. Next, head into a custom lobby and load up any map. On attacker side, approach different areas of the map while shift walking, and when you get close to an angle an enemy may normally be playing, let go of shift and perform a counter strafe by holding A or D, letting go of the key, and tapping the opposite key to come to a full stop. Now in Valorant, you don't necessarily need to counter strafe by tapping the other directional key. This is mostly a comfort thing or a mechanic most counter strike players keep when moving between games. You can simply hold A or D and let go after a quick burst of movement. Just make sure you come to a complete stop before firing. If you need help learning this mechanic, you can turn on the shooting error graph in settings. You can do this by going to settings, video, stats, shooting error, and hit graph only. You can also visualize this better by turning on movement error and firing error, which expands your crosshair when you're both moving and spraying to visualize how accurate your shot is. I left a crosshair code in the description if you want one that has the settings ready to go. Overall, slow peeking around corners is a big no-no in Valorant, excluding specific scenarios I mentioned earlier. If you want to avoid getting one tapped, this is the place to start. Here's another extremely common mistake that players make. It's called diagonal peeking. Holding W and A or W and D is a really easy way to get one tapped. Unlike slow peeking, you can still get one tapped easily even if you're moving at full speed with diagonal movement. To explain this properly, let's look at a right angle triangle. I know, I hear you groaning in front of your screen already. Math? In my video game? I promise it'll be worth it. Let's look at the triangle from this perspective. The vertical line represents the end point of your peak. The right corner of the triangle is your player's starting point. The horizontal line represents a horizontal peak, and the diagonal line represents a diagonal peak. When we observe the movement of a player along both the horizontal and diagonal paths, you'll notice that the diagonal player seems to move slower than the horizontal player. The more the player moves towards you, the less you'll have to adjust your crosshair to their movement. If a player is running directly at you, they're easy to hit, right? When they're moving perpendicular to you, it becomes much harder. Moral of the story, don't peek diagonally. Because even if you're moving at full speed, it'll look like you're walking around a corner to your enemy. If you want to really train this mechanic to make it second nature, there is a deathmatch drill that you can do to punish yourself every time you hold W. 
I got this method from Muhujin, who is a Valorant coach on YouTube. The idea behind this drill is to double bind your melee button with W so that anytime you diagonal peek, it will take out your knife. If you want to peek with your gun out, you will only be able to strafe with A or D. Just remember to unbind the key when you play in a real game. Repeeking an angle you just peeked is another great way to get one tapped, especially if you are repeeking at the same frequency. You peeked once, the enemy saw you, and you went back into cover. You decide, hey, you know what? I'm the better player. I have more precise aim, my ego is bigger, let me swing this guy. You swing and bam, ego is in absolute shambles. You should always try to be unpredictable and never let them know your next move. You can do this by peeking the opposite side of cover you're behind, jump peeking or jump jiggle peeking. You can also use utility before you peek again or reposition entirely. If you want to know the mechanics behind these peeks, check out the video in the top right. Another reason you may be getting one tap so quickly is due to peaking common angles with bad crosshair placement. You may have noticed from the clip of Froyo earlier, the crosshair placement is a bit random. You can have the fastest reaction time in the world, but if your enemy has good crosshair placement and you have bad crosshair placement, they will in fact shoot you first. There are a ton of guides out there that go over the mechanics of crosshair placement, but the main idea is to make sure that the crosshair is at head level and in line with the angle that the enemy could be playing. You can do this by imagining the angle you are going to peek beforehand and then use your lateral movement to position your crosshair at their head like this. Remember that peeking drill from before? This is another layer added onto that drill. If you're having trouble visualizing the head height, you can always head into the range and do the retake or post plant drills. You can practice peeking each angle individually and get an idea for where the head might be. Doing this in a deathmatch helps as well since you're practicing on a map that you'll be playing in a real game. A lot of newer players will inevitably discover the crutch known as crouch spraying. Crouching in Valorant increases accuracy a bit, so it's tempting to use it often. It's definitely useful when you are fully committing to a spray, but if that spray doesn't finish the enemy, it's GG's for you. Bit of a double-edged sword. The other problem with crouching is that, especially at lower ranks, players will often aim at chest level. Now what happens when an enemy is aiming center mass and you decide to crouch? That's right, you are basically telling the enemy, here, let me help you with killing me even faster. My advice is to just make sure if you're going to crouch, recognize that you're fully committing to the fight, and if you're finding it difficult to break the habit, you can temporarily disable the crouch key. I wouldn't disable it in ranked matches, but get a few DMs or unrateds in without it to get used to shooting without crouching. The next concept we'll go over is angle and peeker's advantage. Angle advantage is something that happens due to player perspective in FPS games. Let's say there are two players, Phoenix and Sova, that can just barely see each other and they are the same distance from a corner. Now let's have Phoenix move further back and see what happens. Phoenix can still see Sova, but now let's switch to Sova's perspective. Huh, where did the Phoenix go? This is what angle advantage is. The further you are from a corner, the more angle advantage you will have against an enemy who is closer from the opposite side. If you've ever been taken out while not being able to see the enemy, this is most likely the reason. Sometimes this is unavoidable, so in order to counter this, you can do things like jiggle peek and shoot, or wide swing. Wide swinging is obviously more dangerous because you're fully exposing yourself, but it's a good way to throw off the other player's aim, especially if you're playing in a closer angle. Peeker's advantage is a little bit different. This type of advantage is due to the nature of online gaming. Simply put, when a player peeks a corner, there is a period of lag or latency from when the player peeks to when you see them on your screen. The best way to combat this is to play on a server with the lowest ping. Ping is the time it takes for your computer to send information to the game server. This is why you will sometimes be holding an angle, an enemy peeks and one taps you before you can even react. Another way to combat this is to jiggle peek. You are basically trying to force peekers advantage for yourself. Don't get me wrong, you can hold angles in Valorant, but it is generally a good rule of thumb to make sure that you are further from the angle that the enemy is, like we talked about earlier. You can combat peekers advantage to a degree with angle advantage. Also combining both peekers and angle advantage can have a compounding effect on your overall advantage in the gunfight. Another way to easily get one tapped is when you are peeking out from a smoke. You may not know this, but if you come straight out of a smoke, the barrel of your gun will actually poke through first, allowing the enemy to see you before you see them. The best way to peek through a smoke is laterally or from the sides if possible. Now I wouldn't peek out of a smoke without throwing a flash or using some kind of info gathering ability first, but if you have nothing and you have to push out of a smoke, then try to do it laterally and never slowly. And that's going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like is very helpful. Comment below what you want to see from me next and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you're looking for another guide, check out this one next. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.